guys. Hi guys. And welcome back to our channel. Back to the channel. For today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to make pika pika candy. Pika pika candy. Well, I don't know what the real term is. It's like the Mexican. Mexican. I don't know how to explain it. Um, how to make like Mexican candy. It's our patch. Watermelon and then some little extreme airheads and some gummy bears all mixed in with some chile, chamoy, and lemon. So I'm gonna show you guys how we did that yeah. or how I did that. So don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Say subscribe. 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 Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. And yeah. Let's go, let's show you guys how we did So it. here are the ingredients that I used. I bought everything at Walmart. So I got some chamoy, which was only a dollar and some change. Some lemon juice was about $2 and some tajin that I already had at home. Some Airhead Extreme, regular gummy bears and Sour Patch Watermelon. So what I did was I first emptied out the watermelon all in one container added a little bit of lemon juice and some chamoy now one thing that i did do wrong is i put way too much chamoy so it made the candy really sticky but it was still pretty good keep on watching so after i added some tajin you guys can see that i put too much chamoy and I kept trying to make it dry, so all I did was I kept adding more and more and more tahin. But you guys could also use Lucas instead of tahin, I heard. Um, but after this step, I just went ahead and put pounds of tahin on, literally. <laughs> So I transferred everything on over to a plate just so that I could, once again, I was trying to make it dry because I've seen that the Pika Pika brand is a lot more drying than what I was making, but it was still, once again, it was still pretty good in my opinion. I went ahead and put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Once I took it out of the freezer, I put it in another clear container because as you can see, it was still extremely sticky. So I was trying and trying and trying to make it as dry as possible. So I added even more tahin. I did end up doing this step way too many times, but once again, it was my first time. I've never tried it before, and I still think it came out pretty good. With the amount of candy that I bought, I was able to fill up about three mason jars. They taste like ponchos. Ponchos? Mm -hmm. The gummy worm. The gummy bears. <laughs> well, I mean, they're sour candy to begin with. <laughs> Wait, what is that candy? My jaws hurt. Is that my candy? Here, I'm going to try it. What is it? Mm -hmm. I like it. What is it? It tastes like glucose when I would eat it with just water. The like poncho. <laughs> no, what it's is that? Sour Patch Kids. Try it. Here, it's Sour Patch Kids. Here we go. It's oh. good. Never. Just lick it. Never run, Maria. Am I supposed to put it in? It's really watery. <laughs> well, watch this. I think it's an extreme haircut. I forgot. Do you like them? I like them. It tastes like glucose when I would, or tahini when I just put water and just eat it. What is it though? There's um, 
the Airhead Extreme watermelon and gummy bears. A lot. Yeah, they're really sour. <coughs> But Ernest liked them. Try something else. What did you get? I don't know. I think you got an Airhead Extreme. <coughs> and that's a watermelon. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. If you guys enjoyed this video, please once again don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys want to see any videos of um, us making something else or. Or trying to make anything else, please let me know oh in the God. comments. This little girl, I made, I was able to make three little jars. Can I help you? No, 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 I don't want you to break them. All right, let's go. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Yes. Bye.